Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand algorithm analysis examples. And this is our second video. In our previous video, we have, uh, we have solved some of the examples on algorithm analysis. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here. Because the understanding, what we have discussed in that video helps you to understand better in this, what we are going to discuss in this video. And every video on our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description below now we will start this uh, this with this example this uh, video with this example and here we are having two for loops uh, inner for loop outer for loop and inner for loop and here we are having this printf statement and this algorithm is to uh, is to print uh, is to print this statement and how many times does this print will get executed so that itself state the efficiency of this algorithm the amount of time taken to complete its execution so what does that mean is so here this outer for loop is going to iterate for n times and every time we come into this loop this inner for loop is going to again iterate for n times every time we come into this loop this inner for loop is uh, going to iterate for n times so how many times does this well this will get printed it is n square it is n square for example if the value of n is 3 means so this one uh, will get this printf statement this learning monkey will get printed for n square times which is 9 times this one will get printed so let's try to uh, elaborate a little bit about this so what does that mean is if you first time when you come into this loop this one will get this so if the value of n is equal to 3 consider that the value of n is equal to 3 first time we come into this loop this for loop is going to iterate for 3 times and second time we come into when we come into this loop this for loop is again it is going to iterate for three times and similarly third time when we come into this loop this one will get iterated for this this loop will, will get iterated for three times okay so fourth time we are going to come out of this entire loop and uh, uh, the algorithm will uh, we, we will end this algorithm so how many times uh, total times uh, uh, this this one will get executed is uh, so this line of code will get executed is nine times see here so it is uh, n square if the value of n is 3 means uh, it is going to iterate for uh, 9 times okay so this is this is a very straightforward algorithm and this is a uh, quadratic order of growth is quadratic similarly if you take this algorithm very similar to this but we have an extra inner loop see here this one and uh, sorry this one inner loop and all these three iterations are having all these three for loop is having the same uh, same code it means so every time this this uh, this for loop is going to iterate for n time and when we come into this loop this one is going to iterate for n time and this one is going to iterate for n time so how many times does this one will get iterated uh, how many times this one will get executed is n cube so the uh, order of growth of this uh, algorithm is cubic okay see so here once again so this this loop will get iterated from 1 to n for example if you take the value of uh, n is equal to 3 means this loop will get iterated for three times every time we come into this this loop so this for loop is going to iterate for again three times and every time we come into this for loop see here because the value of i is so this this loop is getting iterated for three times because it starts from i is equal to j to j less than or equal to n so that is the reason why it is going to again iterate for three times and every time we come into this loop this this one is again going to iterate for three times okay the, so the uh, number of times this uh, printf will get printed is n cube number of times it is uh, 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 here the value of n is 3 means it is 3 into 3 into 3 n cube number of times and the next uh, algorithm is this algorithm so this algorithm so just by seeing that you may think that this is going to be n cube 
so as we have seen that example just by seeing that as we are having three loops uh, so this is going to be n cube so this one is going to be n cube so don't think that way if you are having uh, 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 it the efficiency of the algorithm will not always depend upon the number of for loops that we have the loops that we have it may be for loop or while loop so it it varies so we have to analyze that algorithms so how to analyze from now on we are going to analyze each and every algorithm algorithm in a detailed way so here how many times does this loop will iterate this loop will iterate for n number of times and how many times does this loop iterate so here there is a dependency see here here this loop the number of times this for loop is getting iterated is dependent upon this function so this this uh, conditional statement it is j see here how the dependency is j less than or equal to 1 j less than or equal to 1 it means that this j loop is all this this loop is also is dependent upon the value of i try to get that point see here j less than or equal to i it means that the number of times this loop will get iterated after uh, the number of times this loop will get iterated is dependent upon the value of i is dependent upon the value of time i and as we come into this loop this loop is going to take constant amount of time it is j it is going to iterate for 100 times see here try to get this uh, k is equal to 1 k less than or equal to 100 k plus plus so it means that it is going to start from 1 and it is going to iterate till 100 so this one is going to take a constant amount of time but the how many times does this loop will get iterated it depend it is dependent upon the value of i and this i is going to iterate for n number of times so how to analyze this is we have to break down into small small pieces and we will try to understand we'll try to get the output so we'll try to get the efficiency of this algorithm so how uh, we will try to break downing means we will uh, check for each and every iteration and we'll check for the nth iteration also so here if the value of i is equal to 1 if the value of i is equal to 1 how many times how many times does this for loop iterate does this for loop iterate so j less than or equal to i because the value of i is equal to 1 j less than or equal to 1 means so this is the essence of this entire algorithm j less than or equal to i means so uh, it is i value is 1 j is less than or equal to i so it is going to iterate for one time okay so as the value of i is equal to 1 so this inner loop is going to iterate for one time and as we come into this loop this one will get iterated for 100 times we are going to come into this loop for one time try to get that we are going to come into this loop for one time so this for loop will get iterated for 100 times see here 1 to 100 so the k will get iterated for 100 times okay next in the next iteration okay in the next iteration as we are going to this one is going to iterate for n times this one is going to iterate for n times what that n value no need of uh, knowing that n value so in the second iteration this loop is going to iterate for j less than or equal to i what is the value of i value of i is 2 so this j loop is going to iterate for two times see here when the value of i is equal to 2 j is going to iterate for two times so this loop is going to iterate for two times every time we come into this loop this loop is going to this innermost loop is going to iterate for 100 times so how many times how many hundred times this k will get iterated we are going to come into this j loop for two times so every time it is going to iterate for 100 times it is 2 into 100 try to get that point so this is how we have to analyze the algorithms just by seeing three for loops means it is not n cube all the times okay so the next iteration when the value of i is equal to 3 when the value of i is equal to 3 again how many times the, does this loop will get iterated so this j will get iterated for three times and how many times this k will get iterated k is equal to so 3 into 100 3 into 100 okay so the next one is for 4 
for 4 i is equal to 3 sorry i is equal to 4 and uh, so j is equal to 4 j is equal to 4 and k is equal to 4 into 100 which is 400 times so let it be in that way for i is equal to n time if you are iterating if this i is value is n means nth time if it is iterating so how it is going to be j is equal to again n time and k is equal to n into 100 times this one will get iterated so how many times will this get printed will this get printed so we have to sum up all these things summing up all these things means it is 100 plus 2 into 100 plus 3 into 100 3 into 100 so on plus so on plus n into 100 so can you uh, 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 can you solve this it is 100 into 1 into uh, 1 plus 2 into 2 uh, 3 plus 4 plus so on plus n so what is that if you make short of it it is sum of n natural numbers it is n into n plus 1 by 2 into 100 again so if you as we have discussed that the higher order term if you solve this what is the higher order term that we are going to get it is n into n square n square plus n by 2 so whatever may be the so the higher order term the higher order term in this entire time complexity is n square so again we are having 100 so we are not going to consider we are not we are not going to be considered about this uh, uh, significant lower order values and the coefficients of the higher order terms as we have discussed in our uh, previous videos so the higher order the higher order term is n square so the efficiency of this algorithm is n square so whether we have to provide big o or theta which one has to be provided it is theta because exact number of comparisons so we are not going to discuss about asymptotic notations for these examples for better understanding i have given it as theta because every time based upon the value of uh, of n it is going to do those many number of comparisons exactly it will do those many number of comparisons which is n square theta of n square number of comparisons will be done okay so this is these are some of the examples and we are going to solve more examples in our next video hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching